How you doing? My name is John Wilson, and today we are going to learn how to subtract using scientific notation. This is something that once again troubles some students. I'm going to show you just how easy it is. Now, when we're subtracting in scientific notation, the most important thing that you have to do, the first thing that you have to do is line up your exponents. Here we have 5 times 10 to the third minus 4 times 10 to the second. The way we line up the exponents is we identify which one is smaller. So which one of these exponents is smaller, the 3 or the 2? That's right, the 2. Once I've identified which exponent is smaller, I will simply go in and I will increase it by whatever number in order to make it equal the other exponent. So since this exponent is 3 and I want 2 to equal 3, I'm going to add to it. What do I add? What can I add to 2 to make it equal 3? 1. But there is an inverse relationship between the exponents and the factors. If my exponent gets larger, my factor must get smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write my factor out, 4. I'll drop the decimal. Because this increased by 1, I have to move the decimal one spot to the left in order for my factor to get smaller by 1. I'll then write out my scientific notation, 0.4 or 0 0.4 times 10 to the third. Let's wrap that back in parentheses like we're wrapping a present. I'll bring this down, 5 times 10 to the third. And that's really the hardest part. Once you've lined up the exponents, it becomes simple subtraction of the factors. I'm going to do 5 minus 0 0.4. So we'll go in, we'll stack it, just like we divided decimals back in fifth grade. 5.0 minus 0 0.4, 0, can't subtract 4 from 0, so we cross out the 5, that becomes a 4, that becomes a 10. We bring down our decimal, that becomes 6, this becomes 4.6, I have a good factor. Greater than 1, less than 10, I simply bring down my times 10 to the third because I've already completed everything I need to with the exponents and that's going to be my answer. 4.6 times 10 to the third. That's it. I'm going to try one more problem with you before I let you go. Here we got 5.1 times 10 to the negative second power minus 4 times 10 to the second power. Same process, identify which exponent is smaller. Here, the negative 2 is the smaller exponent. So what can I add to negative 2 to make it equal a positive 2? Well, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, I can add 4. Now, if my exponent gets larger, factor has to get smaller. So I'm going to write my factor, 5.1. But this time, how many spots am I moving the decimal? That's right, 4 spots, because I added 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Make sure that you drop in the correct number of zeros. Zero, zero, zero. I'll rewrite the problem now, times 10 to the second. Wrap that up in parentheses. And I am now going to go back in and form my subtraction. So I will end up with 0 0.00051 minus 4.00000. We'll go and we'll do a little subtraction here. And I am going to end up with negative 3.99949. Notice this is a negative. I'm subtracting the 4 from the point 0, 0, 0, 5, 1. That's still a good factor, though. I can have a negative number in scientific notation. And then I'm going to simply write times 10 to the second. And that's it. I'm done. I finished the broth. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That's another reason math matters.